Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another uh, uh, Throwbots review, and last Throwbots review for Throwback Thursday. And this one is on Millennia from 1999 and Blaster from 2000. So, so might as well start off with the box for Millennia, since can't do that for Blaster in this one. And now, well, nope. Uh, anyways, so, in the front of the box you see the Lego logo, Technic logo. And 137 pieces, set number 8520 and 7 plus, and then Millennia Throwbots, which shoots discs in a few languages, and Millennia in a large dining out pose, and some different parts of the planet there, like fire, the water, and pieces of this dome. So have a flip like that, and it's the alternate model, which is actually shown on more of the covers as well. Just driving through the street, you know, and it's also saying shoots discs and the same stuff. So in this review, it'll be only this model because have that one built, and also the Titan version, uh, kind of more wimpy and not kind of weak designs. But this one, I think, a little bit more better. So I'll go over it in this video. So onto the booklets for blasters. See, it's with him running through the city because it's being destroyed by the asteroid that struck the planet. And then in the middle part of it, after building him, there's which how to shoot the discs. And then the combination model that he makes with flare and spark. And then it starts with deconstructing him and then building it up. And then you got that. And then on to Millennia's, same picture as on the front of the box, or on the box, where it's the weak titan build. And then his building background, sort of the electricity, some gooey stuff. Start with that, and then turns over to the other v model that I'm reviewing. And then after competition, Cyber Sling, and then interesting advertisement for the throwbot slash slicers has both of their European and American names and also both logos throwbot slicer how interesting that is probably to promote it to both people or whatever the story is with that if any of you know why tell in the comments down to the discs that they include First off for Blaster is a black disc with seven lights on. And so him and Spark and Flare just rising out of the asteroid or from the energy of the asteroid. And then one of one with eight lights of in yellow and so blaster just running. And then onto with Millennia. Is his special main disc is the rarest of jets, like all nine lights on, and just the planet with the light coming off of it, and still the old style Technic logo, which the other disc is as well. And then to his other disc, which is in a gold color and has the motorcycle of him and it's of him throwing a disc. And so now on to Blaster himself, which is really pretty cool here. So like from the ground up, like he's just using regular slicer heads for feet and the, his lower legs are just, just actual slicer bodies in yellow. And his legs are comprised of two different Toabata throwbot arms, but that black pin there is just so you can put his legs together, probably some hovering thing, which is usually shown in the building instructions. But you can remove it if you want, but you wonder why this upper area is kind of gappy. Well, this is where you can it's to put one of the discs in like that. And his up 
the torso is also made of those same pieces. Is in yeah. And the visor of which which is the most intriguing, interesting part of him. If I could get the stamp, there we go. Recognize him. Like here's Jets. And then Amazons. And it's half and half of those two. Because he's actually a mutant of the two. Or a mix of the two. And you probably want and now how tall is he? Well like compared to those two throwbots that I just mentioned. Uh, whoops. He's kinda of a little bit taller than them. And but most like but mostly about the size of a later Bonacle Toa Mata set, since how these sets got taller and taller over time. And, then, yeah. and on one of his arms, he has the like Technic panel that is supposed to look like it's a gun, but doesn't shoot just like we have with Spark. But on the other arm of which, which looks to be a staff, but made of two throw arms. Can I put the disc in and fire out? And that is about it with Blaster. And on to his millennia is, first of all, it's with the small figure of him. Which is black and gray color scheme, and like Jet has two throw arms, and it's kind of sticks out with the random gold head, and also the interesting visor of which, kind of cool to it. But unlike with most of the others, has the Technic panels on his shoulders, and also the usual mechanism as the other ones, legs of which are just about like scubas. And uh, what else? And lastly, is the motorcycle for it. See, it has an interesting design. Like, have these like panels that go on the sides of the legs of the uh, Titan version, and only three stickers to it, like there, and also this light of it, and also on the wheels. Or in the wheels. But as with the wheels, they twirl and spin just fine, just no bad friction with them. And they of which form the feet of the Titan version. And you see, it rolls just fine. And in the front part of which turns side to side, just like uh, the Forno Bike and Speed Demon Bikes in Hero Factory, and also uh, Sundox V1 in the Bonacle Gatorian Legends line. And, all the... and, like, and what those are, things are on the sides are for, are for his feet. And so how you put this, the discs in is where these little knobs here are where you can just click the discs into place like that and then kind of making it more complete but the back part of which does have a couple of system studs there acting as tail lights okay. and let me get a millennia on his motorcycle Just get his hands in place. And then, also, of course, get the feet onto those uh, rods. There we go.
and well, what else is there? Not much. But now let's go on to the, the final verdict. So the final verdict on these sets. Uh, these are which uh, pretty cool sets for, or good sets for the Throwbots line of 2000 and 1999. Like Millennium of Witch, a two-in-one set, which is kind of not so much common in Bonacle and them. The Blaster of Witch is kind of neat for his color scheme and also his visor and all. Kind of important part to their storyline and all. But you get some neat stuff with Melania. Hope y'all, if you're lucky, if you have these, then hope y'all had a good time with them. And if you haven't, well, good luck finding them on Bricklink and all. And that is about it with these reviews. And, uh, and hang on. So now, here we have all of the Slicer Slash Robots all together. Oops. So from left to right. So here we have Torch, Ski, Turbo, Scuba, and then also a Jet, an Amazon, Granite, and Torch, and then Flare, Spark, Blaster and Millennium. Of which all together in one playing out cool and everything. And these are which are the Slicer Slash Throwbots. Of which are the ancestors of Bionicle. And well, without these, we wouldn't have Bionicle around. Or without these sets, there wouldn't be Bionicles and yeah. At least this was a good experiment from LEGO, one of the most successful to date. And see you next next Throwback Thursday when we cover the Robo Riders and then Bonacle Classics. And yeah, and that's about it with these reviews. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.